Hello, hello. Greetings, Virgo. Welcome to Wasted Traditions Tarot. I'm Tiffany. This is your weekly reading for the week of March 31st through April 6th. Come on in here. I've been away for a while. I'm glad to be back. I'm so happy to have you back, Virgo. Thank you. If you're new here, welcome. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell. We're going to go ahead and get your reading started, Virgo. We're going to pull an angel number for you. Then I'll pull an oracle card for the overall theme. And then we will get understanding and clarification with tarot spirit what is virgo's angel number for this week do tell oh okay virgo 11 11 wish come true virgo moderation patience flowing self-realization manifestation gateway taking action you're in for a lucky break, Virgo. It may come as happy news, experience, new opportunities, or an exciting acquaintance. You will find yourself in the right place at the right time. It is not a coincidence, but a gift from fate, Virgo. Beautiful. 1111 is Virgo's angel number this week. All right, let's go with the... Um, Priestess of the Light Oracle. Let's get an overall theme for Virgo Spirit. Do tell. I'm going to take the top card. All right. Sacred gratitude, Virgo. Reverent appreciation. Prayer. Sacred gratitude. Reverent appreciation. Prayer. Hmm. What I'm feeling from this card is definitely because you live from your heart space, Virgo, you have deep, reverent appreciation for all things around you. I feel like you are a highly spiritual individual, Virgo. Um, I'm looking at your angel number card. Mm-hmm. Right. You go with the flow of life, with the ebbs and flow of life, Virgo, is what I'm feeling for you. And because you live in this manner, you do live a life of freedom, which also brings you some adventure. And with your 1111 angel number, it looks like there are new opportunities that are possibly in front of you. Your wish is coming true. Nine, wow. Nine of Pentacles. Wow. Virgo, the star. Three of Pentacles. And the Eight of Swords. Okay, okay. This Eight of Swords gave me a little bit of pause there for you, Virgo. With this Eight of Swords, Virgo, I'm feeling like you believe there's a situation currently you're dealing with and you feel like the options are limited but what I'm what I'm getting you are unlimited you are unlimited virgo because of you being highly in tune with your angels ancestors and spirit guides virgo you are unlimited and it takes a realization for you to come to that place so that you can you can manifest what it is you need to, the outcome to be of this particular situation. And then having the star card show up for you here, you absolutely are limitless. Renew your hope, Virgo, because this Eight of Swords has you believing your options. You've run out of options. There's no other way. Renew your hope and tap into your highest self because you are, it feels like you, you're, this, this particular situation for you, Virgo, has drained some of your self-confidence is what I'm feeling. And because your self-confidence has 
been drained, you are not at your highest vibration right now. This is something very difficult for you. Uh, something weighing on you very heavily. I'm feeling like this is a family situation. Something's going on in the family for you, Virgo, that has weighed on you deeply and you feel like there are no other options. But Spirit is asking you to renew your hope in your spiritual team. Renew your hope in your highest self. Bring your energy back up to a higher vibration where you normally live at, Virgo. You are normally very a very efficient and very independent person. You are able to get along on your own. You have everything you want and need, Virgo, because you are a powerful manifester, a highly spiritual being, and yet this family situation has drained that. So I'm seeing you here, Virgo, in this Nine of Pentacles. We need to get you back to your nine of pentacles energy in that high vibration and that high um the, the high independence that high self confidence that high uh self power willpower because this has definitely drained you and then we have the 3 of pentacles here a reminded yeah the 3 of pentacles is reminding you Virgo tap back into your spiritual team angels ancestors and spirit guides you have you've because you have low energy and because your confidence is low it's like you haven't been practicing your normal daily uh spiritual practices and so you're not fully tapped into your spiritual team so that's what i'm getting with this three of pentacles you need to tap back in get back into your rituals bring your vibration higher Virgo, because you do, you are normally a very, again, a very spiritual being, very grateful being. You do not take anything for granted. And that's how you came into Nine of Pentacles energy, Virgo. The sun, absolutely. Yeah. Go back into your spiritual rituals to get you back. Get your levels back up. Right? Mm. Okay, Virgo. This tower and this ten of swords. This is the family thing I'm feeling with with the eight of swords. It's it's a family situation and it looks like there is great disturbance in the family environment. I don't feel that these folks necessarily live in your home, but they are a part of your family unit, your extended family, Virgo. And there seems to be definite chaos and infighting. Somebody has... Mm, someone has caused... A great deal of hurt in the family and there's some infighting and it feels like the family is just falling apart that's what I'm getting with that tower and ten of swords but we have the Sun here the Sun is showing up for you Virgo because you are able to it feels like okay I just got this Virgo it feels like you are the spiritual guide for your family. And because your energy levels and your frequency is low, you feel like you cannot get this situation to a amicable compromise within the family. But the sun shows up to let you know, Virgo, you absolutely can get yourself back to a level of um, your high spiritual vibration, depending on and tapping into your spiritual team, angels, ancestors, and spirit guides. There, there are other options that you fail to see right now, Virgo, because you haven't kept up with your weekly or even daily 
rituals tapping into your higher self and relying on your spiritual team. So the sun is here to remind you, Virgo, get back to it because you are the family uh, spiritual leader. And when you tap back in, you will have success in getting this situation, this situation under control, Virgo. You will be able to do it, but you cannot do it at the frequency you're vibrating at currently. You got to go back in. Do not lose faith. Tap back in, right? There's a positive outcome here for you. Absolutely a positive outcome here for you. With this sun card, there you will be successful, but only after you go back into prayer, go back into practice, connecting with your spiritual team so they can lead you in the right path. You've been hoping and wishing and praying this family dynamic that's happening right now that is really on a negative slope right now. You've been hoping and praying that there will be a shift. Well, there is a shift coming, but it's going to take you. You are the family's spiritual leader. You have the opportunity to, to set this family ship upright. This seems like a serious and heavy load to care for you, to carry for you, Virgo. But what I'm feeling is you've been doing this for over a decade, being the family's spiritual leader and now is not to not the time to drop that mantle you are absolutely built for this right yeah you're going to have to decide that you have what it takes you must persevere through this virgo you must persevere you must maintain control as the spiritual leader of your family do not again do not lose hope. You think all is lost, but there's an there's the opportunity right there. There's the opportunity and it comes from within. Virgo, it comes from within and that's tapping back in. Mhm. Mm Queen of Cups. Absolutely. Your nurturing, your intuition, your compassion, you've been using it for over a decade to keep your family in a stable condition, there hasn't been anything major up until this point. But you have the ability to nurture this family back to some sort of health and normalcy where the chaos has ended, the conflict has ended, and this is all you. You've been doing it. No matter on what scale, this is the largest situation you've had to do with to deal with for your family, Virgo. But all things point to, yes, your wish does come true. Yes, you will manifest a resolution and compromise for your family to get the family dynamic out of the low vibrational frequency. Tap back into your high spiritual uh, practices using and utilizing your spiritual team so that you can understand there are other options that you may not see right now. It feels real raw and gritty and it does not feel good, but you will be successful. Persevere. There's another option. That's the option with this eight of swords that you cannot see. Spirit is telling you it's here. You got to call on your spiritual team. Nurturing, caring this is who you are come back into that high frequency you are able to do this virgo you've got this you will change the game and transform what is happening in your family this is done and it's all because of you and what you believe and the life you are manifesting for your family